Hi guys. We are in the lair, as always, because that's my happy place. And I just wanted to do a little video today. And I'm talking a little bit about Adventure Inc. I love Adventure Inc. It has so many amazing properties and it's really not that hard to find. It's not like a super rare stone, but I wanted to show you guys some examples and then we'll talk a little bit about what it's good for and how you can use it and all that good stuff, right? Okay, so let's show you guys some pieces. We've got a couple pieces. I've got a raw one. I got one like this. This is a raw piece really gorgeous and this one is actually could be a candle holder or you can um use it as a sphere holder i like to put like a citrine sphere on top of this so this is a raw adventuring right look at how gorgeous that is so adventuring is a style of quartz it's most commonly green obviously um but it also comes in shades of blue red, orange, gray, and brown. Material in the quartz that gives it like a shimmery quality. Um, it's known as adventurescence. Fancy, right? Um, adventuring belongs to the mineral class um, of Chalcedony. 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 Oh my gosh. Chalcedony. Sorry. Chalcedony. Adventuring's meaning is prosperity and Lots of bringing in luck. It's great um, to help your self esteem. So, this is a little polished point. Very, very pretty. Right? Adventuring's meaning, the meaning of the word, actually comes from the Italian word aventura. And I probably don't have the right accent for that, but I don't speak Italian. Which means chance. So right there gives you the like a hint of the great fortune that comes with adventure. Sometimes it does have flecks of gold in it, which really adds to that luck and uh, prosperity work, right? For centuries, this was called the Stone of the Amazons. It was said that it was the stone that was in the shields of the Amazon warrior queens, tapping into that divine femininity, fierce power, and also protection. You know, think about all those stories of the Amazon women, who how, how fierce they fought, and they were such amazing warriors, and, and they feared nothing. So think about that energy for the stone, for adventuring, right? It's also a stone of comfort and it can definitely bring you luck. It is amazing for luck, uh, for bringing in that prosperity, for giving you chances that, how do I say, the chance that something prosperous is going to come, that abundance is gonna come, you're gonna win something, or good for a stone, for um, games of chance, because it's luck and prosperity. Oh. It really pushes you to have that success in all of your endeavors, whether it's something small or something very, very large. Green adventuring is obviously the most popular version for wealth and, um, and luck because of the color, the green, that green color. Along with being a talisman of good fortune, it's also one to help you regulate your energy. If you're feeling a little low, like you don't have enough energy, it's very, very good for that. Um, it also helps to soothe anxiety and stress. You know, this calming, beautiful green color. It's, it's very, very good if you're very stressed out or you're feeling really anxious about something. It's great just to hold it and feel that energy visualize into the stone, taking away all of that stress from you and just feel that very calming energy that's coming from it. Um, 
it's a great stone to help you push forward in your career. Amazing for career work. Um, finding success. It's also a good heart healing stone. It's really good for building friendships and um, helping love to prosper. Because of course we're working with that green. Again, the green color. So all in all, adventuring is amazing for luck, prosperity, heart healing, um, soothing yourself, releasing of stress, stresses and anxieties. <laughs> But you definitely should go get yourself a piece, even if it's a tumble, small tumbles that you can carry with you. I like to keep a piece of uh, venturing in, in my wallet, in my coin purse, just to help bring that in, in that abundance. Um, but feel the energy of it, work with it, do some meditation with it, carry it with you. Great to put in a place of business, carry with you, whatever the case may be. But get yourself a small piece if that's all you can get, or get yourself a ginormous piece and bring in all that luck and abundance. But definitely work with the energies of adventuring. You won't be sorry. I promise, guys. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bless and be.